Hello students, welcome to our English class. My name is Ms. Julie Aras and I will be your teacher in reading and writing. Today's topic is all about properties of a well-written text. The learning objective is at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to identify properties of a well-written text with organization, coherence and cohesion, language use, and mechanics. Let's begin with organization. Why is it important for the writers to plan carefully before they actually write? Because in organization, writing means that the writer has consciously arranged and classified the ideas in order to achieve logical order and clarity in writing. Organization entails that the ideas in writing must be interconnected with one another. There are patterns that you must observe in organization. These are physical format, the signal words, and the structure. Have you heard the word information overload? In which again lots of tones of information from the text were too much to process and digest. Well, there are various techniques that will enable you to select and organize the information from the text. We have outlining, the graphic organizer, and of course, the deductive and inductive way. Now let's differentiate between coherence and cohesion. Coherence where there is a smooth flow of a meaning and continuity of thoughts within a sentence and from one sentence to the next. To ensure coherence, you need to observe parallelism, repetition. Cohesion. It is the sticking together of all the ideas and thoughts in sentence to create the text. You need to utilize the cohesive devices like substitution or the transitional devices, which is the add similar or related information, to contrast or show difference, to compare or show similarity to provide devices, to show time and sequence to show emphasis, to show example, or to show cause and effects. Now let's go to language use. How can the right choice of words avoid problems? The right choice of words in writing can help us become effective communicators. It pertains primarily to dictions and synonyms and antonyms, which refers to choosing the right word for the specific context. You must bear in mind your audience and purpose. In academic and professional writings, you may choose formal, over informal words. Last is mechanics. Writing mechanics refers to spelling, grammar, punctuations, inventions, capitalizations, and the like. So, do you think you can write a well written text? Let's wrap up and answer some soft checks about your abilities to write a well written text. Weight yourself in terms of the abilities listed using the legend provided. Tick the box, respond to your answer. 4 is strongly agree, 3 agree, 2 disagree, and 1 strongly disagree. Here are the abilities. Number 1. I can enumerate and describe in my own words the properties of a well-written text. Two, I can utilize graphic organizer to visually present the organization of ideas. Three, I can differentiate coherence from cohesion. Four, I can draft and revise text. Number five, I am familiar with the basic rules and mechanics. Remember, well-written text 
are example of effective writing. It affects us many ways because the messages they impart are clear, well-developed, and coherent. Well-written texts are not accidental, but the fruit of carefully planned and elaborate process of writing. Thank you, students, and see you next time.